The Boastful Girl There were two girls named Sandra and Kelly. Kelly was a very fast runner. She was very proud. She would always remind everyone of how fast she could run. She made fun of those who didn't run as fast as she could. She was also very boastful. Hey, my name is not Kelly. My name is Kelly the Champion, okay? Everyone was tired of Kelly and her boastful ways. She also refused to attend practice. What's the point in practicing? I am the best runner in town. Practice is for slow pokes, she said. I am perfect. Champions do not need to practice. Sandra was an average runner and never missed practice. She knew that practice would eventually pay off. Kelly would laugh at her all the time. Sandra, are you training for the slower thon? We should call you Slowpoke Sandra. I think that is a good name for you. Slowpoke Sandra, Slowpoke Sandra, she said as she watched her practicing. Finally, it was time for the school's yearly racing competition. Kelly put her name on the list. She had won the last five races, so this would be no different. However, she was very shocked when Sandra also came to put her name on the board. Hey Slowpoke, you actually think you can beat me? As you can see, my name is the only one on the board. Don't waste your time, Slowpoke. You can't beat the champion. But Sandra didn't let Kelly's words get to her. She put down her name and kept on practicing. On the day of the race, both girls got their own time and there was a big crowd watching. Everyone knew how much Sandra had been practicing and they came to support her. Immediately, the race started. Kelly dashed off quickly, laughing as she looked back at Sandra who was taking her time. Sandra the Slowpoke, she laughed, and she ran as fast as she could. Towards the middle of the race, Kelly noticed she was getting tired. Wow, I am surprised. I am not even halfway yet and I already feel tired. She kept running but she was tired and couldn't believe it when Sandra ran past her. Kelly kept trying but her legs were weak and she was in great shock when Sandra reached the finish line way before her. The crowd cheered so loudly and everyone was happy. Kelly couldn't even make it to the finish line, her legs were tired, and so Sandra got the winner's cup for the race. Later that day, Kelly went to Sandra. I am so sorry I made fun of you, Sandra. I'm sorry I called you names. I learned so many lessons from this. I learned that it isn't nice to make fun of others or call them names. I learned that it isn't good to be boastful. I also learned that I should never feel too proud or feel like I know too much and neglect practice and hard work. Sandra hugged her, happy that she had learnt her lesson.